Hey folks, Pastor Jordan here, uh, coming to you from the grounds at West Glenville Reformed Church on a beautiful, if slightly chilly, uh, Wednesday. And I uh, just wanted to send you my blessings on this day. You're getting the video a day early because I uh, moved my office hours around this week a little bit. Uh, but I wanted to give you uh, a taste of what we'll be discussing here at church on Palm Sunday, and also to share with you a couple of announcements. So first of all, tomorrow night, that's Thursday, the 21st of March, is the uh, March Community Meal. It's going to be a kind of a soup stroll, a little sampling of a whole bunch of different soups. So uh, check the website where you can find the tidings uh, for details. There's an article in there about the community meal if you want any more information. But it is starts at 5.30, and feel free to come anytime between then and 7, 7.30. Uh, there will be plenty of soup. So it should be a, a wonderful time to be uh, together and to be fed uh, in the presence of one another and in the presence of the Lord. Then on Sunday, it's Palm Sunday, but following worship, there will be a Easter egg hunt for some of the young folks, um, or maybe, you know, not so young if you want to get in uh, get in on the fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, please plan on bringing your kids to Palm Sunday and then uh, stick it around after church for a super fun Easter egg hunt that's being put on um, by the church. It's going to be a great time, so please plan on that. Um, and then uh, I just wanted to let you know, uh, of, again, a week from tomorrow, Thursday of Holy Week, that's the Thursday before Easter, the date is March the 28th, that will be our Maundy Thursday service, and that will start at 7.30 p.m. here in the sanctuary, and you are invited, uh, you are encouraged to come, uh, not only by me, but the movement of the Spirit in your life wants you to be present for that service because it helps us to find within this Holy Week the completeness of the narrative of what Easter really means. If we go simply from Palm Sunday to Easter and miss that middle part of the story, we miss the true joy being offered to us in Easter, the amazing, overwhelming completeness of joy that is ours uh, to receive fully by our gracious and loving God. We understand that in a new way if we walk uh, the steps of Jesus of Holy Week and feel some of that sorrow, some of the despair, some of the pain of that week as he was preparing for this most difficult of things that he had to do in his ministry. And so please be with us next week on Thursday, March 28th at 7.30 p.m. You are invited by me and by God's movement in your life to be a part of that service. And as we prepare for that service, we'll hear a beautiful story this Sunday here on uh, on Palm Sunday. We're going to hear uh, the story that we are typically used to hearing on Palm Sunday. It's, it's referred to in scripture and uh, and, and uh, sort of theological uh, circles as the triumphal entry. And uh, it's a story that many of us know well, Jesus's triumphal entry into Jerusalem and all the celebration that is abounding in that. But our narrative lectionary also gives us a second story that we will hear. So we'll hear both of them. And the second story is about the anointing at Bethany. That happens, and it's the account in the Gospel of Mark. So the identity of the woman is not given, uh, though there is another Gospel uh, where the identity of this person is given. Um, and so we will we will watch as Jesus is anointed um, with costly, costly oil, uh, and and what this story actually means when we hear it in connection with the triumphal entry. What is actually going on here? What is, what are we being invited to understand about who Jesus Christ truly is and what we are invited to experience in him? Uh, so that is uh, what we will be discussing on uh, Sunday and what we will be invited into on Sunday. And I really invite you to be a part of it, to be with us for it, to, to come and experience what God is inviting you into in your life. It's exciting to me and it's exciting uh, for you as well. So let's worship the Lord together on Sunday. Let's begin Holy Week together with worship on Sunday. Let's see what the Lord is doing in my life and in your life and in the life of this faith community and the life of all followers across this beautiful world. May the Lord be with you and I look forward to seeing you for Holy Week. Have a blessed day and talk to you soon. Bye.